the sketch uh, from 1871 by H. W. Smith. It is one of only two images that we have of uh, Wilton's whilst it was a musical. We're able to date it to an exact day. As you can see on the poster that the artist has drawn um, by the stage, it is dated the 2nd of December. And in the top um, right hand corner, he's put uh, the year 1871. So he's included uh, something that today is uh, quintessentially uh, Wilton's, and that is the barley twist columns. Um, so the fact that he's included that in his sketch, it suggests that at the time uh, they were pretty distinctive as well. What you can see is a little orchestra pit. So that's um, a very nice feature. It shows us that they had live music and um, they were very, very crammed in, very close to the performers. And if we have a look closely at the audience in this picture, it's quite interesting to note that um, it is predominantly male. Uh, it isn't exclusively male, however, because if we look, there are some women and they are seated both uh, in the upstairs and the downstairs. Now, this is important um, because there was a slight segregation between the classes in the downstairs and the upstairs, so women of all uh, levels were able to attend music hall as long as they were accompanied by a man. If we also look at the audience, um, we can see that the men are wearing hats. Now, this is another point that is related to the stage. They needed to have the stage at that height um, so that the audience could see over the top hats of the people in front of them. And when you look at this sketch, it really was a very real problem. Now, if we go towards the back of the hall, um, today it's uh, blocked in, but you can see from here that it appears to have been a glass wall between um, the hall itself and what would have been the mahogany bar. Um, and what I find interesting about this is you can see a little door um, that clearly someone is going through and you're able to um, imagine that this would not have been a static performance as we imagine most theatres to be nowadays. You know, if you go and go to a theatre, very strict rules about when you can enter and when you can leave and it's um, you know, rude to talk. Uh, however, here you can sort of almost hear the noise and the bustle and people opening that door and being able to hear the noise of the bar suddenly flowing into the hall. And you can see that people are drinking readily, they're eating, they're talking, you can even see that they're smoking. So I imagine the atmosphere would have been very, very loud and certainly would have been an awful lot for the single performer to contend with. At the front, we've got um, a little tanker. We're actually lucky enough to have one of these in Wilton's own archive. And this was found during the 1930s by the Methodists who were in occupation at that time. It is very small, it's smaller than a, a half pint. Uh, measure. Um, it's quite interesting to see that these would have been uh, in frequent use and we've actually managed to um, maintain one through to the present day. Uh, the other thing that I think is interesting from an artistic point of view and it's quite telling is that the amount of detail that he's managed to cram into this picture is actually phenomenal. Um, it's not a very big picture. He's able to get this much detail um, by simply how light the hall was. There is no way if this were a modern um, performance that anybody would be able to draw that much detail because you simply wouldn't be able to see it. So it's, it shows us that it was a very well lit place. So it was more like um, a sort of a cafe environment with a performance going on. Um, so the music certainly was uh, not secondary, but it was part of uh, you know, a more social event in terms of talking and drinking and eating and generally having a good time.